Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Walmart Wax Wednesday. Uh, I did get a little bit behind on vacation, but I'm trying to get back on schedule. Um, and Saturday, we should be back on schedule for a Scentsy Saturday as well. I had a great vacation with Canada Kim, 1978. If you're not watching Kim, you should. She is awesome. Okay, this is Better Homes and Gardens Tropical Island Dream, and this was chosen by first name. Thank you very much. And uh, they describe this as lemon, a grapefruit with red currant and touches of peach wrapped in warm jasmine and fresh peony over breezy musk and amber. They're taking lessons from the Scentsy writer. Okay, that's a lot in one little Better Homes and Gardens claim. So to look at this, I would think tropical florals, maybe if a little bit of tropical fruit in the description it says lemon, grapefruit and red currant and peach. So. I was kind of looking forward to that with a little slightly, um, you know, a floral note in there as well. But I got, a, a, the first of all, the throw is light. Like uh, even when, I, when, you, when you leave a room or when you walk out of the house and you walk back in, usually it, it hits you, whatever, whatever you're melting, because it's a change of scent, I, I believe. But even when I went out and came back in, and this is going in three warmers downstairs, two in the kitchen, one in the living room. And when I left and came back, I could barely smell it. So I'm going to have to say out of 10, the throw was like maybe four. So that's disappointing as right there. But then I didn't really get any uh, like tropical. I was like hoping for tropical floral, tropical fruit. And I did get a hint of citrus. Um, I didn't really get any peach. I got a little bit of a floral note. I guess that would be the peony and the jasmine. And... Which is fine. If it had been just the the citrus, a little bit of peach in the peony and jasmine, that that would have been great. I could have I could have gone on board with that. But the musk and amber give it just a touch. Alexa, stop. Sorry, just a touch of an uh, an odd note. Something I don't care for. Now you know me and amber. It's not overtly amber. It's I'm not like going all crazy on this. It's just a very hint of something slightly off-putting that takes away, to me, from the fruit and the floral. That would have been fine if they had just stopped right there, but they didn't. They, they went and added the musk and amber. So for me, in my taste, I would not repurchase this again. If it would have been just the fruit and floral, I absolutely would. Uh, the throw also is not good, so for that reason as well, I would not repurchase it. Now, for people who love, you know, it's a little bit, I guess, interesting or intriguing or off the beaten path of what tropical, what makes one think of or makes me think of. So if you like something a little bit extra and you're in, and you're curious, you might want to give it a try. Um, but based on scent and throw for me, this was a thumbs down, unfortunately. So yeah, that's it. So next week, the choices are Sensational's Inner Zen. Sensationals Beach Please, Better Homes and Gardens Berry Mango Freeze, and Better Homes and Gardens Bergamot and Sage. So the first person to respond down below, that will be the wax I will melt and review next week. I hope everybody has a great Wednesday, and I'll see you back on Saturday for Sensi Saturday. Have a great day. Bye.